I moved into an abandoned farm in Portugal. Stepping this far outside of my comfort zone definitely came with a few challenges. It's raining ice. However, I'm going to keep building and hopefully moving towards a more peaceful way of life. The weather has been pretty nice here in Portugal. After the storms that we had in September, the grass is green again and the moss is getting back its color. I'm trying to use this window of good weather to prepare for the winter. And amongst my list of problems to solve, I do want to finish this shed for my solar electricity components. It's my first time building a freestanding structure and I'm quite excited with how solid it's looking so far. Because I'm trying to keep the costs down, I'm using not the straightest wood and so this is probably not going to be the most perfect structure, but I think it'll work. Because this shed will hold the batteries for my solar system, I want to build out the floor to be the strongest that it can be. Because believe it or not, these batteries can get pretty heavy. I messed up the measures for the floor, so I gotta do it again.
think I'm using way too many screws than what I actually needed, but yeah, I think it's just better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them, so. I'm also trying to use as much scrap material as I can in this build. Again, just to try to keep the cost down. And besides, I find it really, really satisfying when I find good use for scrap material. Believe it or not, most of these OSB boards that you're seeing me use are actually leftovers from when I converted my van into a camper. That project feels like it was a lifetime ago. So now that the overall structure is kind of built, I'm covering it up with this tongue and groove just to make it look a little bit better.
this front face of the shed is definitely the most complicated part of it. I'll have to build some doors uh, in order to have access to the stuff inside. And I still haven't really figured out a real design for this.